it really is sharp, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Typo or negative? <laughs> okay. Hello, oboe players. Today we're going to talk about how to sharpen a reed knife. And there are different times for sharpening knives. There's when you get a new knife and you have to build the edge. That requires certain equipment. But the most common time for sharpening a reed knife is during the reed making process. And you don't need to use all different stones for that. What I use is just a little rod. This is a hardened, case hardened axle rod. And I will show you a link where you can get these. Uh, but the axle rod is case hardened. And you want it hardened so you won't get nicks in it. If you get nicks in it and you run your knife down the rod and you hit a nick, it'll destroy your edge. And that's a really bad thing. And so getting a case hardened is what you want to look for. And the link I'm going to show you will have that. Now, you'll, I use these rods pretty much just like I use a sharpening stone. With the sharpening stone, what I'll do is I will put the, my leading edge, I'm left-handed, I will put my leading edge, this is the front edge, this is the leading edge, and this is the back edge, this is the trailing edge. Those are the terms we're going to use. So we're going to put the leading edge down, and they're going to raise it forward until I feel it reach the edge of the knife, and I'll take off the old burr that's there. Then I'll draw the trailing edge up until I'm slightly higher angle than the leading edge, and move that forward. And I'm also going diagonally across the stone so I get all the knife. And then come back this way, and this way, and keep doing it until there's a burr built up and it becomes sharp. Now you want to make sure that you don't spend too much time, like you don't want to do this on a stone, because then you're sharpening one area a lot more than the other, and the edge will get curved. So I try to keep as much time on the stone with each section of the edge as I can. But you notice how I did that with the stone. With the rod, I did the same thing. Uh, this is what I use day to day when I'm making reeds. I put the rod down against the surface, which is supported, take the leading edge down, take off the old, put on the new, take off the old, put on the new. And I'll do that three or four times, and I'll check it against my thumbnail, and it should grab. Don't dig in real hard, because you can damage a nail if you whittle at it too much. But just let the weight of the knife go down and touch the nail, and then you can feel it grab and pop up. And that's how it's going to act against the cane, which is what you want. You want the reed knife to grab the cane and take it up. You shouldn't have to press down into the cane to get it to come up. You want to lift the cane off the cane, off the reed, not dig it out. Now, so uh, that's how you use the rod. And this, like I said, it's nice because you're not taking off any steel with this. What you're doing is you're actually fixing the edge that's been damaged by scraping the knife off onto the plaque, which is steel, when you're making reeds. See this little piece of plaque? It's, it's steel. And my, one of my teachers referred to making reeds with a plaque is that you're sacrificing the edge of the knife at the altar of the plaque because it's steel and it, and it wins. <laughs> So this fixes that by just reestablishing the contour of the edge of the knife and so it stays sharp again. So you don't have to take off metal to get there. You just need to re-bend back. This is very, very thin steel. Um, now this is a stone called a frictionite, which I showed you first. And it's a hard stone to find because it's not made anymore. It was made by the American Hone Company. Um, and I, thought, I think they still make it, but it's different now because it was made by a lady for years and years and years, and it was her stone, apparently, that she was the one that was responsible for building it. And she would tweak the formula over the years, and it became just fantastic. But she never wrote anything down, apparently. And so when she passed away, the secret died with her. And so if you find any of these stones on eBay or anything, they'll be expensive, but they'll definitely be worth getting if you can find it for a pretty reasonable price. But my day-to-day -day tool is the rod. Like I said, take out the old, put on the new, take out the old, put on the new, and then put on the new angle slightly higher than taking up the old, because you want to make sure you're reaching the edge of the knife. And then when you check it out on your thumb, it grips really well, and your reed making will be, you'll be lifting your cane off the reed instead of digging it out. That's what you want. You want, the, you want the knife to do the work. The weight of the knife does the work for you. And that's how you sharpen your knives for making reeds.